Hey guys, what's going on? I was going to actually do a video last night on the Dokkan Fest exclusive festival. Uh, and I was unable to get it to you, and that's because I was just extremely wiped out. I wanted to get it to you as fast as I possibly could, but I, every time I tried to do a recording, I would mess it up. Uh, I actually messed it up about one, at least two times so far uh, since starting this, and it, that's only specifically because of the post and the way it was made, and it's so out of order that it threw me off because I was trying to figure out what was written, and there's no pictures or anything to make it easily um, readable, or no graphs or anything like that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start this over. So uh, this is going to be for the Gogeta and Janemba festival that's going on right now so shout out to dbz.space for the actual event information shout out to the reddit i'm taking this post right here and i'm going to be reading a little bit about it for the dragon bone the dragon stone sales so we're going to start off with the sales of the dragon stones if you're looking to purchase them um, I took the what, he, what this person over here did the basic math on this for the division to find out what stones had the best deals. I took it, I copied it, pasted it, and I put it in terms of best to worst stone packs that you can get. So in terms of the best stone pack, the best stone pack is five stones a day for a dollar. You're getting five stones per dollar, and that is the best you can go with. Um, I would recommend doing that if you don't mind throwing a dollar in here and there into the game so that way you can get some stones. I do. I'd recommend it for investment for the future um, because there's going to be better banners to pull on. Personally, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks event. <laughs> but um, that's going to be cool. So that should, that's most likely going to be coming out in January, so it's a little bit off what I thought. I thought that they were going to do Gogeta Janemba towards the end of November, and then they were going to do the last two in the last month. Unfortunately, they're not. So uh, five stones for a dollar is probably going to be the best one you're going to get. Then you have 12 stones, um, 12 stone packs, and you're going to get about four stones per dollar from this pack. This is the second best rate. You also have 30 stone... 32 stone pack which gives you the same amount of value four stones per dollar so these are your three top contenders the 32 stones the 12 stones and the five stones those are the top contenders of what you can get the next one is going to be the 77 stones um this is a decent deal you're getting three and a half stones per dollar um that is actually a really good deal so i would recommend also going for that if you would if you have the extra cash um that you can put into it and then possibly stop there the next ones aren't really worth it. Um, six stones for uh, however much it is, it's about six divided by two, so it's three stones per dollar. Um, you're essentially not getting the worth out of it at that point. If you're just looking for the sales compared to the regular prices, yes, it's worth it. But in the end, it's not so much worth it because you're not getting the most value out of it. So if you're trying to be conservative with how much money you put in, six stones isn't worth it. And the last one is going to be the 91 stone. Obviously, the 91 stone packs is what everyone's probably going to go for at some point, because if you're going to do a whole bunch of summons, you're going to want to use utilize those stones. Uh, but you get the least amount of value out of that and the 6 stone pack. Uh, actually, this one is the least amount, because I believe you get 2.75 stones per dollar in terms of value put in. So, top 3 stone packs are going to be the 5, 12, 32, and then after that, the 77, if you want to summon even more. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the next. Uh, the Dokkan Festival... Well, we'll talk about that a little bit. The Dokkan Festival, we're going to talk about that. So the banners are pretty cool. I'm going to do an actual separate banner review of this. Uh, we're going to touch upon who's in it, though, right now. Uh, this count summons, let's go into that before we go into the actual characters. Uh, this is a step-up summon, or I like to call it a roulette, because you go through and you have different cards you can pull and different amounts of cards, which is different than they usually do. Uh, this is the Super Multi Summon Discount. Step 1 is only 10 Dragon Stones. You get three characters from the first summon. It's really bad. You don't get any GSSRs or anything like that, but it only costs 10, right? Step two is going to be 20 stones, and it's originally like 25, so you get one free character from that. The step one, you also get one free character. Uh, so you get five characters from step two, and then one multi-summon, you get two free characters because it's 40 stones, technically based off of how the game works. Um, personally, I feel like the first four or three steps are just to waste your stones because you don't get the good stuff until you do steps five through seven, which we're going to talk about. But like in typical Dokkan fashion, you do three summons, you get the fourth one free. Uh, and then you do four, three more summons, and you get the fourth one free. Uh, steps five through seven are standard 50 dragon stones. There's no other gimmick to it. It's just basic 50 dragon stones. You don't get anything out of it uh, other than you have the possibility of getting a, 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 some type of exclusive, you know, or whoever's in the banner. Step eight, when you get to step eight, it only comes around once. I did a separate video, two minute video. If you haven't watched it out, it just talks about it. Essentially, the Dokkan exclusive tickets are here on step 8. You can only get one per banner, and it comes out to 220 stones 
uh, per banner that you need to spend to get to step 8. So you need 440 stones in order to get to step 8 to get your guaranteed Dokkan Fest exclusive character. That means you get one SSR banner card from the actual banner. Doesn't guarantee you're going to get uh, one of the new Dokkan Fest exclusives. It only means you're going to get something that's in the banner. For instance, Cell is in the banner on Janemba, so you can possibly get a Cell. Or I believe Buhan is on the Gogeta banner, so you can get a Buhan. Um, there is no guarantee you're going to get one of the newer ones. It's cool though because it does give you a guaranteed banner card, so you do have a higher chance of getting one of the featured units. Uh, but it's only available on Step 8. After Step 8, you don't get any more of them. Steps 9 through 11 give you the thank you tickets. The thank you tickets do not give you guaranteed SSR. It gives you a chance to get an SR or higher. It gives you all of the feature units from that banner, and then all previous 120 leads are available. Uh, except for the ones that are available on the opposite banner. So like if you're going on the Gogeta banner, Korra is available on the Janemba banner. So Korra will not be available on the Gogeta thank you summon ticket. But all the ones prior, all the current 120s that aren't available in the Janemba banner, and everything prior to it, is going to be available in those thank you summon tickets. So that's how that works. Step 12 is going to be free, and then it just rotates between steps 9 through 12. So you keep on doing three multi-summons between steps 9, 10, 11, you get all those tickets, so you do the free one at step 12, and then you can go and use those thank you tickets to get any of them. Also, I believe the LRs are in those thank yous, so you, can, you have a possibility of getting an LR in that. I don't know what the rates are for that specifically, but they are, they are there. All right, cool. Now, with that being said, who's in the Gogeta banner? We have Gogeta, we have Physical Omega Shenron, which is, oh man, I need him. I need him. I don't have him. Oh, I hate him. <laughs> I don't have him. Anyway, Gogeta, Omega Shenron, Trunks, Buhan, then you have the Technique Golden Frieza, the Beerus, and the Super Gogeta. This is the old school strength one. So you have a chance to get any of those. It's uh, it's really not a good banner. Like I said, I'm going to do a full banner review and do a comparison between the JP side and the, and the global side. Um, I, I'm not hyped at all for Gogeta at all. I'm not really hyped at, for him at all. We do have Super Janemba, and the Super Janemba banner, in my opinion, is so much more worth it. So we have Super Janemba, we have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, we have Korra, we have Intelligence Vegeta, you have Strength Perfect Cell, you have uh, Strength Omega Shinron, and the Intelligence Super Janemba. This banner is phenomenal. I, I don't understand. I don't understand how they put such powerhouses over here. Like, Buhan lost his luster. Like, you know, I can't even go into it because I'm going to be doing this in a separate video, but like, Buhan lost his luster. Golden Frieza is a good unit, but he is only really utilized in certain events. Beerus is never, ever used at all. And the Intelligence Super, I mean, the uh, Strength of su uh, Super Gogeta has no relevance to anyone on this banner at all. And he's essentially going to be replaced by the card you're summoning for. I mean, it's cool that he's there, I guess, for those of you who don't have him, you want him for a mono strength team, but I, I don't know. Again, I'll, I'm going to go about go off about that in another banner. Uh, these are all here. This is who you can pull. Uh, again, I think the value is in the Super Janemba banner, so if you are looking for the most value, Super Janemba. If you don't like it because you want it Super Gogeta, you might want to save a little bit longer and not spend your stones. Again, it's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what you can and can't do. I know I'm going to have some people yelling about how I'm telling everyone to do this and that. Do what makes you feel better. I think Super Janemba is more worth the time of stone and the stones to do. I still think that the best option for you to do is to get up to step 8 in each one if you could afford to do so, but it's up to you and how you feel about it. Personally, more worth for me because I don't have Janemba, I don't have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I would like a dupe of Korra, I don't have Intelligence Vegeta, I would like a couple dupes of Perfect Cell, um, and I mean, these two I already have 100% it, but Janemba and Shenron both feed into newer counterparts, so it's not like they would be going to waste. Anyway, that's my personal, you know, situation. You know, in terms of this banner, I have everything maxed out. In terms of from here down, essentially everything's maxed out. These are only three I don't have. I don't have any of them, so more value. Anyway, um, with that being said, uh, we already talked about that. We already talked about, okay. You know, Bandai likes to throw everything. Um, we already talked about the festival tickets. So, yeah, um, that's there, guys. Uh, outside of that, I will be doing... Uh, event guide so not really an event guide per se as in uh me going over uh the actual event and how to beat it like a, more of a let's play with the event so if you're interested in that that'll probably be dropped in a couple of days uh, i just need to wait for my stamina to restock on my phone before i can jump into that and start doing those uh, but yeah stay tuned for that i have a whole bunch of summonings that are going to be released i already released one summoning video um so uh, i'm, I'm talking and by the way when i was talking about it in here i was talking as if i haven't summoned at all so that's what my worth was in the banner. Uh, 
But yeah, I already have one summoning release video. This is going to go up after that one. So that one does probably have already been up for a couple of hours. This one is right here. This is going to be the video that just goes over the full banner review if you were, if you were wondering about it. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. I have a couple more summoning videos that are going to be coming out over the next couple days on the Gogeta and Janemba banners. And I'm going to have a whole bunch of Let's Plays. Thank you. I'll catch you all later. Peace.